Hey guys, Ruben here, and today I wanted to start a series, if you like, where over the next week I upload one video each day. This would be video one. And there'll be videos just basically to do with Android or maybe the PC, more so Android, uh, review of apps, uh, guides, etc. So I'm hoping you like them, and we'll get started off with today's, which is about PPI or pixels per inch. Now, each device, each device with a display anyway, has a PPI score if you like. Um, basically what that is, it's the amount of pixels in one inch of the display. The higher the number, the better the display will look to your eyes. You won't be able to see the pixels in the display. So we'll start off with the lower end of the scale like mobile phones which you have fairly close to your, dis fairly close to your eyes, sorry, have a high PPI rating of normally around 200 to 350 um, pixels per inch meaning that it's very hard to see these pixels. You go lower and uh, you get things like tablets which have a PPI of around 132 for the iPad 2 and around 150 for the Transformer, um, the old Transformer Prime I think. And then you go to Apple's new iPad 3 which has a PPI of 264. Now we'll come back, in fact no we'll do it now. Apple say they, their devices have retina displays, they class retina displays as anything above 250. Um, where you can't see the pixels in if you put it up, I think it's a couple of uh, centimeters away from your eye, it must be something like 15, is it, or something like that. But um, that's what retina display is basically, it's a display where you can't see the pixels of a certain distance away from your eyes. Your eyes can't distinguish the pixels. Um, and then we go lower, even, we go to computer monitors, um, which your average full HD. 24 inch display monitor will have a PPI of around 120, 110 so again lower but you know you get, there's that distance distance between you and the screen increases each time um, and then you have TVs which full HD 42 inch actually has a PPI of get ready 52 <laughs> so as you can see the that's pretty low compared to mobile phones, but again, you know, you're sitting very far away from a TV, so you don't notice it. Um, so yeah, that's PPI. There's a couple of ways you can calculate PPI. I have a device here, the Galaxy S Wi-Fi 5.0, with a WVGA resolution, which means it has a resolution of uh, 480 by 800. Um, and you can calculate PPI by taking this resolution, 480 by 800, um, getting adding them together, so sorry, times and times them together. So you times them and you get 384,000 exactly. Then you need the dimensions of the display. In this case, it's 4.4 inches by 2.6 inches. Um, you can measure the size of your display to get that, and that's 11.44 inches. Now you then take um, the the score that you got with the resolution added together, which was 384,000, divide that by 11.44, and you get 33,566.43357. Okay, and then you find the square root of that, and you get roughly 183. So this device here has a PPI of 183. As you can see, it's a fairly big device. It's got five-inch display, so you know you're not going to notice it because it's going to be that further away from your eye. But if you bring it up close, you can notice the pixels. Now, this brings me on to my second point, which is um, that not all devices have, you know, around the same PPI. As you see, this is 185 PPI. The iPhone, I think, has somewhere is at 326 PPI, so that's very high. And then my Galaxy S2 here has a PPI rating of 217, I think, if I remember correctly. Don't judge me on that. Okay, so we can actually change the resolution of uh, certain devices. Um, I'm going to use this today as an example by using an app called LCD Resolution. I'll put a link in the description below. So basically what this allows you to do is you can see where this preview is up here. It's going to change the resolution size. I'm going to change it to, sorry, to that resolution there, 941 by 564 which should make everything small on the display but also increase the PPI now normally your display technology etc is going to affect this but we're just for simple terms we'll just kick that out of the way for a minute so we're just going to apply this here and you'll see that everything should get smaller 
Now, when the, when you get the resolution, when you try and calculate the PPI with this resolution, you're going to get a different score. Now, remember that this stock stock this device in stock had a don't mind the um, the it's a it's a ROM, so don't mind the errors, the visual errors. But you get the general idea. As you can see, it makes everything smaller. Now, when you calculate the PPI for this device with an increased resolution, you get a PPI much higher. So basically what you do is, you can use whatever device, you know, well you can use a calculator or you can use a computer calculator, you need to calculate the, remember what we said, the resolution, so you get 941 by 564, and you get that for 530,724, and then you divide that by 11.44, which remember was the, um, sorry, was the size the square inches of the device and then you find the square root of that answer and you get a PPI of 215 so now the PPI of this device has increased to 215 which is very nice and you can even um, you can even increase the PPI even more if you want uh, e.g. I'll increase it to 129 here and we'll apply it and then you can get a very high PPI rated but like I said the display technology is limited somewhat with the pixels, the sub-pixels etc so uh, yeah that's basically it, that's the app, I'll put the app in the description it's very good in case you have low resolution screens on a big device like me as you can see it's hugely increased the um, the, the smallness sorry, of the as you can see we can now get all the settings on one screen um, so yeah Thanks for watching guys, please rate, comment and subscribe. Uh, just to summarise, PPI is pixels per inch and the higher PPI the better for a device that's going to be closer to your eyes. Um, hence TVs have a low PPI because there's no need for them to have a high PPI and phones nowadays are creeping up higher and higher. Um, so thanks for watching guys, like I said please rate, comment and subscribe if you have any questions, don't be afraid to comment. and uh, please